Hi everyone, it's Sophia Train. Thank you so much for clicking this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make an iced oat milk latte at home. You don't need to go out. <laughs> so stick around for this tutorial. I hope it's helpful and yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here is my beautiful little setup here on how I make my iced oat milk latte. So first, have of course this beautiful mason jar. I have this metal straw. You can get these on Amazon. I will link this one below of the package that I got it from. Then I have these little espresso pods. Um, my husband and I order a lot of different ones, but these are the ones that we have right now. These are the Trader Joe's Ristretto Espresso Capsules. We love really strong coffee, and so these are the ones that we like. It says the scale of nine for the intensity. Obviously, you can go at however intense that you want for your own coffee. It has 10 capsules, and it is super good. I love it. We love really strong coffee, so are definitely ones that we like <laughs> and this is the oat milk i have been using and i absolutely love it it is the califia farms brand it's gluten free dairy free and soy free and zero grams of sugar i tried this from whole foods the other day and i absolutely love it um, it's unsweetened when i first tried this i was kind of nervous because i was like oh it's not the oatly barista creamer <laughs> that I have been wanting to try first, but I just picked this off the shelf at Whole Foods and it tastes so good. It doesn't make me feel tired like regular milk would. This is definitely such a good creamer for your latte. So highly recommend it. The next thing is our espresso milk frother. It's amazing. We absolutely love it and this button can change the milk's temperature to cold or hot. And we set it on this little thing. It's super, super nice. We love it. We got it for our wedding a few months ago. And yeah, we love that. The next thing that we cannot live without is our espresso machine. It's amazing. It actually holds these, of course. And you put it right in there make some coffee in literally two seconds with any sort of espresso pods. It actually is just like the Nespresso machine. This is the one that we got for our wedding. It holds 10 times the amount of these little guys here. It also holds so much more water, which for our benefit is really amazing because we drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> this is something that I use for my lattes and yeah, let's jump right into it. Step number one, I turn on my espresso machine, pull this back. These will be blinking, but I put my pod in and push the lever down like so. I take this little lever off so my cup fits and then wait until the blinking stops so I can choose just censoring right now. I will do one big shot. <laughs> going to open up a new one of these packages. I'll do it with one hand. <laughs> I pull up the lever, put one in again, put the lever down, and then I do a small shot. Well, I just made some coffee. <laughs> Here I have my coffee already brewed. You can do it however you want. Now I'm going to pour my oat milk creamer in my Nespresso frother. Pour it up to the line. Put the cap on. Press the button until it turns blue. There it goes. I poured about a quarter cup of oat milk creamer in the frother. Just however much you want to froth, honestly, that is just how much I like. As that is frothing, I actually like to put the coffee 
in the fridge just so that it chills a little bit. Okay, now that that is done, the milk is frothed. I let the coffee chill for like five minutes. Then I will take my frother and I will pour it in the coffee. Add some ice, add my straw, and there you have it. Looks heavenly. Let's try it. Mmm, it's so good. This is absolutely delicious. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite iced coffee drink is and what you'd like to see more from me. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon.